Hi there. I've got another video for you here. This one is going to be a little different from the rest. Now, if you remember in the first four videos, I was basically trying to answer a question about the rock constructs up on the next hill over. And the question was, not are these human constructs, they clearly were, but the question was, were these made by the original European settlers or were they made by someone, a previous unknown people? And it seems that answer has been found. Basically through sharing those videos, I got so much feedback and different articles, uh, an academic paper, which I will leave the link to uh, here, and uh, just a whole bunch of information on those rock constructs. There are thousands of them all across the northeast of the USA, and they're all related to some people that built them, but they don't know exactly who, when, or why they built them. But we did answer the question that these are, without a doubt, the same rock constructs as the ones you find all over the Hudson Valley, uh, starting in the Ohio Valley, through the Hudson Valley, all through uh, Vermont. You should follow a Facebook page called Ancient Vermont. There's just every day there's updates about rock constructs, chambers, walls, all, you know, all a mystery basically. So thank you so much for your input and your sharing of things because we really did get somewhere with those. Um, and now I'm ready to take, uh, take on this guy here. Now, the thing that all of these people, these mysterious people of North America seem to have in common are rock constructs like those, but also pyramid or conical mounds like these. Now, have a look at all of the mounds they basically start in the southern USA, in Louisiana, and there's hundreds of these ancient mounds coming all the way up the Mississippi Valley into the Ohio Valley, where I'll also include a video here about a, the only known um, rock pyramid that they found in the upper Ohio Valley. The rest of them, further south, were made of earth. And basically they used what they had available to them. In the south, they didn't really have stones, but as you move further north, you had more stones. And so you started seeing these rock constructs and this one rock pyramid that was apparently dismantled, I believe in the 1800s, um, to build a canal. I'll just start now getting into some of the properties of this mound. It's about, 30 feet tall, depending on where you choose to measure it. Um, it's got these perfect angled triangle lines going up to the middle of the pyramid. It is uh, also bizarrely constructed of mostly white quartz. So you can just brush aside leaves anywhere on this pile and you're going to find white quartz and it's loose like it's been piled uh, i have yet to i haven't really dug into it but i've yet to find any any solid bedrock or even any solid earth it's just you it's just piles and piles of rock um, now here we are at the the peak and you can see on the whole southern side it's strikingly uh, conical at the base like a, a, a very nice circular shape there and it seems to be aligned to the north where on the north side it appears there is a, a step up a lot of these mounds and even pyramids are step pyramids and they have like a mini pyramid approaching on one side uh, traveling up to to the highest peak of it this seems to have that so here's the point if this turns out to be a human constructed mound then i'm quite sure we have a really significant world archaeological site here 
that needs some serious investigation uh, because it has all elements. It has, from the first videos, it has a perfect circle construct, a serpent-like construct, a uh, construct with an uh, octagon angle, and they're arranged in a large circle with 11 mounds uh, with a circumference of about uh, almost a kilometer. Now, if we have this also on the same site, uh, I think that's a first, actually. And so uh, it would be great if you could help me figure that out. Um, Inuk's right up at the top. Let's go visit him now. He loves to sit up at the top there. He's really drawn to this mound. So am I. It's a great place to come and just sit and think. There's an incredible silence and uh, uh, peace here. Um, but uh, yeah, please help me figure this out. And uh, I hope that... Um, I hope we can get somewhere with this because it's been really exciting and we certainly got somewhere with the first four videos on the constructs and uh, hopefully you'll help me out with this one. Thanks a lot for checking this out and we'll talk. Have a great day. Thanks. Duggers.